Artosis here with the Caster Muse Star League Season 4. This is from Group C. It's the elimination match. Game number two between Sharp and Saxry. If you haven't checked out game number one yet, I recommend you go check that out now. Otherwise, uh, yeah, here we go. So Sharp was able to take down Saxry on the previous map, Ringing Bloom. Uh, Saxry went for the very fast three hatcheries before his spawning pool and Sharp happened to scout him first and was doing a build that was able to punish which is just a barracks, barracks expansion. He got a bunker up did a lot of damage and then slipped a couple vultures in and just kind of ended the game. So uh, Saxry, he took the risk. He knew that it was a situation where things could go wrong, uh, where he's kind of gambling a little bit to get ahead and it didn't work out. But that's, you know <laughs> that's the way of StarCraft sometimes. Uh, now, this map is actually, I guess, in some ways similar to Ringing Bloom. Uh, you have a lot of very safe economy that you can take. Your main base does have the double geysers, but they're at 4,000 and 1,000. Then you have a natural that actually has additional mineral patches, which I guess we'll probably see here in a second. Uh, on this, this ramp right here, you have a bunch of mineral patches that have about 250 minerals apiece, which makes a kind of islandish expansion in these middle locations. Uh, so you can actually, you have those extra patches that you can mine and you can jump a drone or an SCV or float a command center or whatever and get a base that's very hard to attack by land. So when you put all that together, uh, this is a very economy heavy map like Ringing Bloom. Now let's see if Saxory does something similar where he wants to go three hatcheries before spawning pool. I'm not so sure. We'll see. Uh, Sharp here is actually sending out two SCVs right away. And, uh, yeah, already making a Marine. Okay, well. See when he gets up there. Uh, this is an 8 racks opener then. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. I was, I was, uh, checking out the map for you guys. But, yeah, it looks like it's just an 8 barracks opener. And that's why he's sending out two SCVs. He wants to see, uh, can he punish Saxory for anything? And if Saxory was this position or this position, he kind of could... But since Saxory is cross map, the rush distance is so much further that the odds of you really getting damage done here, it's it's very slim. And when you do an opener like this, uh, most people agree you have to kill at least two drones to be even. Maybe three drones gets you ahead. So let's see what he gets done. Uh, the spawning pool is going to be finishing here very shortly. Single drone come down. He sees with his overlord a bunker being made. Only the single drone. Maybe he's just... Okay, here comes the rest. I was going to say, it's probably for a sunken colony. Oh, that one drone almost going down. Traps that first marine for a second. And already... Oh, well, one drone does fall. Gets his bunker up. See what else can be done here. Trying to target down another drone. Okay, he kills the second drone. He's, he's kind of doing all right on the defense, though. Pushing it back pretty well. This is a lot of drones that aren't mining right now, so that should be considered. But, ooh, nice <laughs> sliding kill there to kill the Marine. Yeah, now it's just like one SCV and one Marine in a bunker, so that's really not scary. Uh, I would say at the end of this that I feel like Saxory might just have like a tiny edge after that, but it was pretty close overall, right? Uh... Not that much damage done. Not that many Ling's force we made. Some lost mining time. A couple lost drones. Of course, on sharp side, you cut a bunch of workers that you're making and all that. Uh, but yeah, from here, what we should see is just pure droning from Saxory to kind of catch up with where he's supposed to be. He has plenty of Ling's out. Doesn't need any more. Uh, he does have Zergling speed on the way, and that's about to finish. So he has a decent amount of Zerglings, but going down here and taking a look, those Zerglings can't do anything. Like, there, he's just not going to take damage. As soon as you put an SCV here, this is unbreakable. Like, you could send a thousand Zerglings at this, and you should not break through. So, Saxory coming down with the Speedlings. Yeah, I don't think he'll find too much damage. Brings this SCV back. Blocks that location. I think Saxory knows. It's like, okay, well, we're just going to drone from here. Uh, here are those mineral patches I was talking about a little bit earlier on. Starting to mine from those. Generally, uh, it's good to mine from those quickly, so you can... Get down and take this base and defend it. He's already hopped a drone over as well. Uh, pretty easy to hop a drone over the mineral patches or an SCV or a probe. To take that third base. And yeah, just really work on that economy. 
we don't see the layer as of yet. So it is a little bit late, right? Okay, so that's, what was that? About a five minute layer. A normal Zerg vs. Terran, the, the current metagame is a three minute layer. So that is, it's later by quite a bit, but also, you know, it was an eight racks opener. So the whole game gets kind of turned on its head. Now, looking at what Sharp is doing, I got to say, I, I do like what he's chosen to follow this up with, and it fits his style very well. A very quick plus one upgrade. Uh, he already has his academy up, getting stim. I'm sure he'll get range very quickly. He's adding some barracks here. And yeah, it's just it, he's getting into that bio play that he likes so much. And his plus one is going to be very, very quickly uh, made. Now, we don't know exactly what Saxtree's going for, but seeing that he already has an evolution chamber and that scan just went down and saw it, points towards what it might be. This might end up being a crazy Zerg style where you're going for uh, a reasonably quick, or a, I would say a very quick Ultralisk opener. Um, it's generally Mutalisks into Ultras and just constantly getting those Carapace upgrades so that your Ultras can fight against the Bio uh, straight up. Now, Spire is coming up for Saxory as well. A little Marine push out. More Barracks on the way. Now, the one problem with the way that Sharp is playing this game, right? He's getting uh, plus one quickly. He's making a good amount of Marines. And that's a very quick factory. That's like actually a very, very well-timed out factory here. Uh, is he can't do anything with the actual Marines other than take some map control. There's only one area to attack in. You can't get into this area by land because there's mineral patches there. So you would need a dropship to attack, which obviously he does not have yet and you can't get before mutas anyways. So that leaves just this one area that defends three bases. So all Saxory has to do is make sure he has enough sunken colonies, hold off the Marines, and you just don't have a lot of options. <laughs> like we see some scuffling in the middle, uh, the Lings against the... Uh, the Marines, but that's it. There's really nothing else going on. <coughs> now, the Spire is going to be finishing up relatively soon here. I'm interested to see after he makes his mutas how quickly he throws down the Queen's Nest. Over on Sharp side, his plus one is almost done. This is such a quick plus one. That is looking really nice for him. Going to really add a ton of power to his Marines. Uh, you know, Marines, stimmed Marines already have some of the highest DPS damage per second in the entire game. So when you add plus one to that, uh, it's just, it's a massive improvement. A bunker going down. Kind of anti-Ling and anti-Muta. A couple turrets there as well. Have to see some in the main base. Yeah, starting to go down. Science facility. And a second engineering bay. Yeah, I like it. So... Sharp thinks it's what I think it is, which is crazy, Zerg. Uh, and again, that is Mutalisks into Ultras. And you the most important thing is you get your upgrades as quickly as possible against that. You must continue your Marine upgrades nonstop. Uh, so he's getting that second engineering bay very, very quickly here. Saxory with that group of Mutas, trying to harass a bit. Already we have a hole here, so Sharp will be able to take this base relatively soon. Tons of gas being mined. <laughs> and the hive on the way. Second evolution chamber. I'm sure he'll start melee here momentarily. Yeah, this is definitely looking like it's going to turn into ultralisk play. Now, a little group of marines and medics coming out to this area. Not sure. Maybe he was looking for an overlord there. Uh, won't find anything at the moment. And there's that plus two attack, which is so important. So notice how the plus two attack is here. And the plus two carapace is like just, you know five seconds ahead of it or whatever that is that is optimal basically if you are keeping up with upgrades against the ultras you can fight against the ultras if the ultras are in a whole care pace upgrade against them uh up against the marines then you'll just lose the battle it's it really turns on a dime to be honest but yeah as long as sharp macros really well he should be able to hold on but you have to be careful too uh if the Zerg player squeezes in some defilers, which is very hard to do on three gases. You can't really do it. Then you're going to lose. <laughs> it's going to be very tough. Now, Optimizer is a cool map for this because you do have this additional gas, right? This lasts for three minutes or so. So for about three minutes, you get a four gas income. 
uh, on it's it's a little bit more than three minutes maybe th three minutes and 20 seconds or so but uh you you get that extra income which maybe he's gonna try to squeeze the filers out or maybe he'll just make a few more ultras with that we'll see okay so sharp moving out on the map once again he's getting oh he's actually getting a vessel energy upgrade which is a very good upgrade to get with SK Terran. It's actually criminally underused, but it makes it so you can irradiate a lot quicker and a lot more often. Vessels start with more energy and, of course, can hold more as well. You've been neglecting casting your irradiates. Mutas, although getting irradiated, stops some of the reinforcements. Really nice. Anything they can pick off is very useful. Looks like a big full attack coming out of Sharp, but there's a lot of Sunkins here. So, unsure if he's going to be able to actually break through there. I guess only five are finished. Uh, there are five Ultras on the way. Chitinous plating coming up as well. Okay, he's going to try to bust. This is kind of a do or die situation. Is he going to be able to get through here right now? I mean, he does have 1-1 one, one upgrades. That's gigantic against Sunkins. And you can see he's starting to break through. But we had five Ultras started already. Let's see as they pop out. Are they going to be able to hold on? A nice irradiate goes down. All the Muta's going to end up falling here. Gets as much damage as he can, and the Sunkins are going to fall. But this is not going to be enough to fight the Ultras. Ultras popping out. Maybe the first two, but there should be three more. Yeah, here they come. He's going to target down this first one. Look at the medics trying to block a little bit. <coughs> Targeting down that Scourge so he doesn't lose his vessel. But the Ultras push him back. A really important moment here for Saxory. Kindness plating almost done. The additional uh, armor upgrade just finished as well. So the Ultras just became a bit stronger than the Marines. But uh, their plus two just finishes also. So pretty even right now uh, as this Chitinus finishes up. And he's going to remove this small group. A lot of damage was done to the Ultras, but he didn't really kill all that money. So, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess everything is still relatively even in this game. I would say maybe slight advantage to Saxory. <laughs> and he sees the double dropship, which is actually kind of brutal, uh, to be honest. And he has to unload the dropships as well to actually fight, fight these Ultras. So Saxory sacrifices a bunch of the Ultras. I mean, he loses three of them right there, not getting that much damage. But slowing down the two dropships is key. He's killed off some of the science vessels as well. But just knowing that there's dropships, that tells you. It's like he wants to attack the main base or he wants to attack the third base. Either way, you're going to have some extra Scourge flying around looking for those. And honestly, it's it's hard to imagine these dropships getting much done. So Sharp continuing to add production on. Looks like he's going to eight barracks. <laughs> That's that's about as much as you can really uh, produce on two bases. He does have uh, three two upgrades on the way right now for his bio as well, which is going to be really important. Oh my god, I actually didn't even notice this. How did I even miss this? That is insane. I've literally never seen this. But Saxry snuck down here, put a hatchery between the two gases that are meant for this base and this base and has stolen a gigantic amount of gas and is continuing to do so. That is actually a fantastic move. You know, Zerg vs. Terran is so dictated by the amount of gas that you can mine, and now he's getting so much. Sharp must kill this. He has to kill this right now. It's just too much. If he keeps that gas at all, defilers will start to come, and that's where you just lose the game immediately. All right, Sharp coming down. Saxory's entire army coming down right now, maybe for a counterattack because he knows that Sharp's army's down here killing this base. Yeah, he's going to run in and with just a single bunker, the SCV's getting pulled, but is he going to be able to hold on? Sharp coming back with the rest of his units. That does leave this base up for longer. Look at this. The Ultra's fighting so well right now, but he does have a good amount of Marines and Medics. Starting to push the Ultras back a bit. There's no Lings in here to help out. SCV's screwing up the, the pathing of this one Ultra. But it looks like Saxory is just barely going to break through this army. Oh my gosh. The Medics look like they will make it out. Very, very important. You can make Medic Walls against Ultras that are very helpful. 
Uh, more ultras being sent down. Saxtree kind of getting a little bit wild with this right now. Surprising in just how many units he's rallying down for the attack. But Sharp, even though he's producing eight Marines at a time, may just barely not be able to hold on against this. Some Lings and an Ultra chasing him up to his new third base. Very annoying. Has to turn around. And he actually, he has to stem the flow. Like, maybe make a building here to stop them and clear out this group. But the rest of the Ultra is going to attack in for the flank as these Marines go down to deal with that Ultra at his third base. Some of them getting in on top of the, the uh, rally line and Sharp is just going to give it up. GG. Saxry wins game two.